Hello friends. Within the series of the tutorials of dynamic controls, this is the third tutorial. In first tutorial, we have seen how we can create button controls dynamically at runtime. Within second tutorial, we have seen how we can create review control dynamically at runtime. And within this tutorial, we will see how we can create array of checkbox control dynamically at runtime and how we can add that array on the form. So, hello friends, this is Dr. Nikisha Jariwala. Welcome to the tutorial of VP.NET. This is the third tutorial in the series of dynamic controls. And within this tutorial, I will demonstrate that how we can create array of checkbox control that is multiple checkbox control and how we can add those checkbox control dynamically at one time on the form. Over here I have added one form within the project and as we want to add controls dynamically so we will not place any control on the form. Within the form load event we will create the array of checkbox control and then we will add that array on the form. So let's see the code. Here it is. Within two tutorials of dynamic controls, I have already discussed that if we want to create controls dynamically at one time, we need to use classes of those controls which is present in .NET Framework class library. So as we want to add checkbox control, so we will use checkbox class which is already present in the library of .NET Framework and we want to create an array. So I have specified the statement that is deem ch of 10 as checkbox. Over here I have not used new keyword because I will allocate memory afterward at the time of the creation of the control. So I have created array of checkbox class. After that within the form load event first of all I want to set that what will be the position top position of the first checkbox control. So for that purpose I have used deem top of integer is equal to 30. So I have set the top position that is the 30. Now as it is an array I can use a loop that is over here I have used for loop that is for i as integer is equal to 0 to 9 as I have created array of 10 checkboxes so I have iterated from 0 to 9. After that in the loop, I have created object of checkbox control with the help of new keyword that is ch of i. So, whenever this loop is created for the first time, it will be ch of 0. So, first checkbox is created which will be at the 0 position then that is 0 index within an array. Object is created with the help of new keyword. Then I have set the top property of that checkbox control that is ch of i by default ch of 0 dot top is equal to top variable. So first checkbox will be at 30 position. Text property I have set is top dot to string means within checkbox it will display 30. After that I have added that checkbox within the controls collection of the form that is me dot controls me indicates the current form controls is the collection through which we can add dynamic controls on the form add is the method as we want to add something within the collection and what I want to add that is ch of 0 by default obviously the loop is iterated for the first time so i value will be 0 so ch of 0 that is the first checkbox is added in the controls collection of the form after that i have incremented the top value by 30 that is top plus or equ plus equal to 30 means now the second checkbox control will appear at 60 position from the top now i also want that whenever i click on the checkbox control check change event should be fired and the text property of that particular checkbox control should be displayed within the message box so obviously over here i need to specify check change event but as we are creating control dynamically we also have to create or more precise we also have to attach the event dynamically with the help of code and for that purpose we will use add handler keyword 
so with the help of our handler keyword i can specify that which event i want to attach with this particular control so over here i have written ch of i as the loop is iterated for the first time so ch of 0 dot check change along with that we also need to specify that for this check change event which subroutine will be called and for that purpose we have to use address of keyword and along with that we have to specify the name of the subroutine over here i have created subroutine with the name ch underscore check change so i have specified that name over here that is ch underscore check change beside address of keyword so this subroutine is attached with the check change event of ch of 0 so this loop will be iterated for the 10 times 10 check boxes will be created at different locations they will be displayed and along with that each check boxes will also have check change event now let's see this subroutine that is ch underscore check change it is over here as i have told it is subroutine so we will start the subroutine with the help of sub keyword then the name of the subroutine which is the user defined name and as we know that if we create any event there are two parameters within that event first is the sender and second is e argument sender is always of system dot object data type and e is always of system dot event args so over here i have specified the prototype that is sub ch underscore check change within parenthesis two parameters with by well keyword that is by well sender as system dot object and the second argument is or second parameter is by well e as system dot event args now after that i have to check that which check box has been picked so for that purpose we can use the sender argument as we know that sender argument will contain the information of the control that has invoked the event and e argument will contain the information of that particular event so we can use sender parameter to check that which check box has been picked by the user because there are array of check boxes so first of all we need to identify that which check box has been clicked from that array of check boxes so again we have to iterate the loop so for that purpose first of all i have created one variable that is dim i as integer then i have used for loop that is for i is equal to 0 to 9 then i have checked the condition that if ch of i dot text means whenever this loop is iterated for the first time it will be ch of 0 dot text is equal to sender dot text sender dot text will contain the text value of that particular control that particular check box control on which the user has clicked so if this matches then within message box i have displayed ch of i dot text that is the text property and along with that i have displayed the position of that particular check box that is i plus 1 plus 1 i have written over here because i will specify the index value but i need the position so i have specified plus 1 so if the user has clicked on the second check box means the sender will contain obviously the value 60 because we are specifying top value within the text property of the check box control and the first check box control will have value 30 second will have the value 60 so if the user has clicked on the second check box so sender dot text will contain the value 60 so whenever this loop is repeated for the second time that is ch of 1 dot text will obviously match with sender dot text and the value of the text property along with the position will be displayed within the message box so friends this is the code through which we can create array of dynamic check boxes on the form so let's execute this application and see how we can get the check boxes so see over here friends 
we got 10 check boxes that is 30 60 90 120 150 180 210 240 270 and 300 so these are the 10 check boxes which are created dynamically as an array and are displayed on the form as i have only set the top position so from top at 30 position the checkboxes has started but as i have not specified the left position so the checkboxes has started from zero location now let's click on the second checkbox and see over here it is a message box so we have displayed the text property that is 60 and i have not specified any space between this two value so two is concatenated that is the position is concatenated with the text property that is 60 is the text property and two is the position of this 60 checkbox now let's click on 240 so see over here 240 is the text property and eighth is the position of this 240 checkbox so friends this is the way how we can create array of controls dynamically at one time and we can add those controls on the form so friends this is the end of the tutorial if the tutorial is helpful to you please like the video and also subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss the update thank you